This is my bathroom before we touched it. The only thing I did here was remove the tub and the toilet. This was a $2,350,000 project. And I don't really even know how anybody was able to live in the condition that this bathroom state is in now. There's uh, damp and mold issues everywhere in this bathroom. The tub was cracked. It was useless. I had to replace it. There was no way around it. This is just the corner after removing the counter and I already went ahead and teared out a lot of the drywall and um, was thinking I was going to reuse some of that drywall but I never did. And oh, quite a while later we you can see the spray foam in the back end of the bathroom and I have the holes in the flooring and I'm replacing the subfloor that was the easiest thing to get to and we put the tub in there and just kinda started putting things together after getting the subfloor down the tub was the most expensive part of this whole project this is the plumbing and my first time trying my hand at plumbing and not knowing a thing. It turned out alright, there's no leaks. And this is just another shot of the hardy backer. Um, it's the cement backer replacement. I really like the hardy backer. I would recommend it and this is just more progress and near the top you can see there's gaps and the that part won't matter so much I'm gonna fill it and it doesn't get direct water on any of that and then this shot shows some of the drywall that was put in I put all brand new drywall in and the ceiling never did get touched that's all just getting to get a coat of primer and paint and there's another angle. We are already using our bathroom, by the way. And, uh, I mean, this is a massive upgrade just the way that the bathroom is right now because we used to do showering in the basement, and that was our only way of showering. Take note of the uh, sink there. It's not painted yet. We have to do some work on that. I just put it into place to... Uh, see how things might go to f together and fit and kind of measuring things out and having a fore plan. I already started mudding in t in the, on the drywall there. And this is the vanity all painted up. The drawers I do believe were painted at this point. And that was a $100 cabinet came with the faucet faucet was free saving me about 50 bucks 30 bucks I don't know and I'm not sure what do I got going on here right now but I primed the floor uh, getting ready for tile and I primed and painted the faucet that went to that vanity and we're reusing that that is com that is all brass actually expensive faucet it's gonna last a long time I updated the toilet and we put in that two flush system and I just figured you know with paying for water and everything uh, that would be more desired and uh, be updating an old toilet the toilet is free by the way didn't buy a new toilet this is something I found on the side of the road and it works completely fine we're loving it and it looks good if you know and you see the, some of the brown marks on this PVC it's um, because we I had to bend the PVC in order to get it to fit and sometime later we started doing the tiled floor we got that thin set all mixed and I started laying down the tile and saw how uh, what pattern I might like 
to do and this is the pattern I chose and it just fit the space the easiest going this way and if you do it lengthways I believe it helps make the room look bigger and this is the finished product very happy with the outcome by the way the tiling process is very messy and I didn't realize that walls and uh, just from home renovation will tell you that the tiling process and all the waterproofing is more of a water diversion so this is a big help to me to understand that this is a water diversion it isn't waterproofing water can still seep behind your tiling so this is something that I'm mentioning because it was very valuable during this process and this is the finished product learning to tile and all that was definitely a, uh, I don't know it, nerve wracking it was a good experience and I'm taking a wide shot and you should be able to see that I hadn't cocked the corners yet and you can see how I finished the edges of the tile that was the hardest part for me was to try to dream up some idea of a finished edge the tub had a bow to it too so there was a tile down there that was bowed and this is pretty much it the bathroom is finished at this point we got the lamp in there we I got extra light um, bright light bulbs in there to brighten it up I made that shelf that's over the toilet that was from um, I don't know just some old used wood re just reusing it and we're doing a, uh, a pan shot of the whole space definitely very happy with the finished product I gotta, I gotta say very very good feeling I made that mirror and frame the mirror and frame uh, really added a lot of look to and this is just another angle the frame of that mirror was old wood from a trailer so I reused that so this project cost me two thousand three hundred and fifty dollars that's rounding up on my number and that should include some of the tools I'm not sure if I included every tool but that was the price on this bathroom a two thousand dollar bathroom and some change the tub was the most expensive part because that was a four hundred dollar to three hundred dollar tub 